Hey folks, PC7 here, and welcome back to Conestoga Farm and Farming Simulator 2013. And we are, of course, playing with the Damage Mod and Force Mod and the Soil Mod. And I'm here in the little Linder Geotrack, which apparently lets plants leak through the floor. <laughs> and I'm going to collect up some of this grass. I did go around with the wind roar, and it was very, very much worth doing. Um, because the wind rower was able to grab like three rows at a time minimum so that means that you do actually make less trips of course if it grabs two rows then you make the same number of trips as if you'd actually just gone around every single row with whatever you're using to pick it up and in this case it's this guy it's hilarious one of the smallest vehicles in the game and it's got the deepest bass note in the motor <laughs> engine I should say. I'm sure it's not electric driven, not the way it sounds. And although it's going to still take us a few runs to get all this grass picked up, I mean there's not a lot of it, but to get it all picked up, um, it should be enough to at least get our cows and our sheeps off to a little bit of a start. Because I would like to produce both the wool, well both, I would like to produce the wool, the milk, and of course uh, the fertilizer that our animals will give us. Oops. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. It does stop picking up once it's uh, once it's actually full. So let's go. I think. Yeah, I think the sheep will be our first stop. be a road right over here. So hope everybody's doing well. Uh, for those of you that watched my intro video to Train Fever yesterday, it would be yesterday by the time this goes up, um, if it seemed a little bit like I was maybe a bit confused, it's not only because I'm not 100% up on the game right now, it's also because I was expecting to do certain things that it didn't do. And that's because when I went back and looked at it, I realized that even though I did start a new, new game and actually started on the tutorial level, I had already gained some experience and already unlocked some things. So that kind of reflected and it really changed what happened. So, uh, yeah. So here's our sheep station. What do we got? Ooh, little bugger's already making a little bit of wool. I'm going to assume that's the water trough, so we'll have to get out here pretty quick with some water. And we can feed them right here. Alright. Goodly enough. Let's just flip this off then, shall we? Yeah, this thing doesn't hold very much, but I do like it. It goes quick. And it works perfectly fine. It does have a bunch of attachments, but again, they're a little on the small side. And whereas I don't mind so much with this, there we go. That only took 22%. Uh, Although I don't mind with this, in particular, our foraging. Um, you know, a manure spreader or a slurry tanker that hold next to nothing. That can kind of be more than an inconvenience, shall we say. That can become really useless really quickly. So although this would be the ideal multi-purpose vehicle for a small farm, like Family Farm or Old British Style or one of those, um, I want to go up to the next little level here. I think for slightly larger maps, it's only convenient because of its speed, which is why I like it in these scenarios. There's quite a quite a bit of a drive between the sheep and the cows, and the sheep and the cows and the farm, and the sheep and the cows and the pigs, and the pigs and the farm, and the farm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Alright. we. I'm sure at full speed I could probably catch air with this little device. 
Alright, here we are back at the cowage. Alright, and I'm going to assume same setup. This will be food. Yes, indeed. There we go. Wahoo, they're liking that. And they are going to eat all of that. Wow. That's a fair chunk of grass. Well, I guess 20 cows. Kind of think, though, seeing as they get 10 other things to eat, that they wouldn't eat as much of it as the sheep. Well, cool. Now, that I wanted to get as a start. So we can start getting a little more production. I will, of course, uh, bring a bale or two over and get the straw and all that stuff going as well. Now, the other thing that we're doing... Um, that's kind of right and kind of not. Uh, ah, there it is. Perfect. And I know why there's no tractor hooked up to it. It's because I got distracted and slammed the tractor into a tree. And I figured it, hey, 57% damage. <laughs> we might want to look at getting her fixed. There it is. There, how you doing? You are now all paid for and fixed. Isn't that just cool? All right. And I think they've adjusted the pricing a little bit, because it didn't really cost that much to fix this tractor, even though she was, as I say, reasonably damaged. I quite a bit. I'm sure if you were at, uh, you know, 50% damage on a real vehicle, by guppies you would pay through the snout to get that fixed, you know. So, what I've done here, now we own fields three, four, and six. I purchased field five. It's 18 grand or something. And after this set of harvests, I'm gonna plow four and five together. There's only a thin strip of grass between them. There's no trees, thankfully. So yeah, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna plant field three and field six in corn. And I know that Corn, if we go to here, <coughs> excuse me, we know the corn likes fruit C and herbicide A, so we will deal with those things if and when we need to. But for the moment, these fields are plowed and fertilized, and they are showing, I think, pretty much ideal... Um, yeah, neutral. So, can't ask for much better than neutral. Slight acidity, but I mean one-tenth of a point below neutral. So, if I were to dump lime on there, then we'd be looking at about 8.5. And 8.5? Yeah. You don't want to be going there. No. So. You know what? Yeah, I'm never going to get to this. This is just parked at a terrible place. <laughs> I'm looking at it now going, how am I going to put headland in here? No matter where I start, I'm going to bash this puppy right in the bum. There we go. Thank you. Well, let's get back over to our Mercedes Benz. This is, uh, again, from the, um, one of the DLC packs from Giants. This is the Horse Maestro. And, uh, pretty decent sized corn seeder, as you can see. I have used the, uh, Vatterstat one. I had not actually used this one, so. Oh, she was down all the way. It's another one of those ones that unfolds into the operating position. I guess that's cool. And 
Well, let us proceed up the field and see how this goes, shall we? Alright. Oh, let's hop in here where we can see something. Do -do -do -do. <coughs> so, uh, I had actually expected to start another series called Recycle. However, <laughs> oddly enough, uh, eh, and yet not oddly enough, because if you consider the company that made it and the company that developed it, and then look at their track record, um, the fact that the game is not currently working on release really shouldn't come as much of a surprise to anybody. So, yeah. Um, I will, however, when they release a patch for it. Amazing, they blamed Steam for the mistake, saying it was Steam's launcher that screwed up. And yet, they are working on a patch. Okay. Anyway, uh, once they release a patch for it, I will put a video up. Yeah, it's called Recycle Garbage Truck Simulator, and it's another business management type. With a little bit, you can also drive the different vehicles in the game, so... Um... Oh, that's raised up again. Good for me. Let's crank her up and let her go. See, as I say, I'm going to do the two fields that uh, three and six we will do up in corn, and we will cut it for silage. And then four and five I'm going to do up in, I think, barley. Yeah, I'll do those up in barley. And then uh, that should do us well for our first go-round. As soon as all our seedlings reach stage one, we will apply the appropriate fertilizers, etc. And see how that goes now. probably do it. How's that looking? Yeah, I like that. So yeah, that's the plan. Do up uh, a couple of fields here in corn so that we can get some silage going. And then we'll go from there. So anyway guys, that's what we're up to. I'm going to get some more of that grass off the field as well. And uh, So next time we meet, we should have uh, one, two, three, four fields here, all planted up and ready for the next stage. So till then, hope you enjoyed the series. If you want to help support it, please leave a thumbs up, maybe a paper to share, any of that sort of thing, even subscribe. That would be awesome. So till next time, take care of each other, folks. This has been Species 7 for Farming Simulator 2013 on the Conestoga map, and ciao for now.